Oh. That is death. You see how big that is? It's horrible. Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I have two boxes of fresh halo wheels and I also have my jump bike here because today I'm going to be switching this bike into a sort of trials jumpy hybrid ultimate urban MTB machine. So let's get some new parts fitted and then shred it. Let's get into it. So let's see what we've got in here then. Ooh, look at that. This is the fresh Halo Chaos rim on a super drive hub which actually has a cassette mounting zone here, you know? You can fit sort of cogs and things to this, which means I'm actually also going to have gears on this bike, which is going to be very cool. Um, and then obviously we've got a lovely front Chaos wheel here and that's got a disc mount so I can get a front brake on the bike as well. So let's get started by stripping the bike down a bit. We don't need that one for a bit. Awesome. Let's do some magic on these tyres then and fit some fresh Continental Race King tyres. These are actually a 2.2 this time because I want to do more like trialy stuff as well. The wider the tyre means more grip, so I want them for this bike. We're going to do the speciality. This is where you get one out and you put that under like that and when you magic that on, it does both in one go. Way faster, way sicker and way more Harry Potter like. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. Tires on, disc, and everything is on in the uh, rear one as well, which is so sick. So we need to put this on here, but I'm actually not going to use them forks right now because these forks were on there from before and they actually have the correct star nut that, I'm gonna, that will allow me to run the disc through there. So I'm just going to switch them over and then I'll get the front wheel on. Why? Right, so I've now got the green forks back on. Let's get this front wheel fitted. Oh, that looks so good on there. I actually like the wider tyre. It looks well cool. Looks beefy. Right, I switched the bike around now and it's going to be time to fit the rear wheel and then obviously the gear system that I'm going to be running. I was going to put on a new frame, but as I'm going to be doing trialy stuff, I might end up smashing it. So I'm going to keep this one on for a little bit longer. Anyway, here's the back wheel then, after it's magic. Oh, that looks so cool. Ah, there we go. Perfect. We now have, oh no, I've forgotten one thing. I need this special bit here, look. This is a um, special hanger here that then I can put gears onto a bike that doesn't allow gears, which is quite impressive. So we now have a rear hanger for the gears. So let's take the crank off, switch the chain ring, and then get the gears on. We've got to take the whole crank off to change the chain ring. Bit of a faff, but needs to be done. Sort of whack that out like that. Easy. I'm going to go for a 32 as opposed to this 27. Hopefully that will be enough. Pinchy bees off. Switch to this sort of X sync, which sounds impressive nice cranks on let's worry about the gears now then so i'm going for this nifty little number look this is a little shram um gear system with a short cage and that's going to fit on there really nicely look oh yeah it's now time to fit the gear switcher not that exciting actually so let's just sort of oh yeah look so i now have a customized modified gear setup. The reason it's modified is because there's only five gears so I had to use the lock things on there that stop it from going any further so it doesn't get smashed into the wheel and stuff. But now we've got that fitted I need to get a front brake on. Another MT7 Magura which looks lovely in the race line yellow there. So let's um, let's fit that right now. Oh yeah look at that front brake straight on that's so good we just need to do a little bit of cable tying and taping put some pedals on but this bike is ready to go so let's go and see what this beast rides like 
We've now come down to the Hythe in Colchester. There's loads of good street spots here and some nice boats. The bike is looking a dream. Apart from this tangly cobweb zone here, um, the bike's looking good. If it runs really well like this, I think I'll sort that out so I just have a, you know, one cable running down instead of it being wrapped. But that thing is looking sick. Drop a tube. <laughs> looking like pretty dreamy we got a few random colors going on but once I know it works perfectly we can sort all that out now I've done this spot a load of times in the past and I actually did do this to my jump bike once before but I never had the proper setup going on so we're gonna start things off with a trial up onto that box down into that bank into the first feature then let's get it Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> so sick with the front brake. It's actually the dream. Oh yeah, you can do foot jams without actually foot jamming. Oh my God, this is fun. I love that. Okay, Let's see what else we can do then. Right, I'm gonna go up here, see if I can stoppy and do that sort of backwards nozzle thing. Oh, that is so scary. Oh. Ow. Oh. 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 What did you do? Um, like the max was snapped and Went over the bars. Yeah, went over the bars. Huge hole in his arm. <laughs> that, is, that is gnarly. Sick. Nice one. Cool. Sick man. No worries. No. You can't understand how much I want to do that trick. It's so infuriating. You literally just roll backwards on your front wheel. I've done like so many tricks and that's the hardest one. This go. Louis just told me to land it. That I will. Hey, Louis! The inspiration works! Finally! Yes! Oh my God, so soaked on that. We're gonna go down there now, and there's the railings I've done before. Let's see how well I can do it on the jumpy trailer. We've come to the bike locks. These are kind of small for normal bike locks, but that's perfect to try it on. I've done it on the enduro bike before, but let's see if this hybrid machine can do it. No, let's not. Oh, I thought I was going to do that then. Third time lucky. Wait. Oh, that's smooth on there. I think I'm so used to this bike, just makes it awesome. Love this thing. The geared trialy jumpy hybrid. Let's go and session some more stuff. <laughs> Sick! Oh my God, that's so, that's real. I've wanted to do that for ages. That looks like the dream, look. <laughs> Yeah! Send it! Send it! That's, uh, that's actually illegal in the boat and river world. <laughs> that's why it's so funny. Just found this cool sort of bridge spot that it's actually not that impressive because I can't get onto it with my bike in one go, but I think I can just ride along it and it could look kind of cool. Hopefully I don't fall in. Oh, that is death. Oh. Off the other side of this bridge here, there's this little street zone. I'm gonna bonk over that, 360 pivot off and then nose press that quarter pipe. Oh my God, that was gross. <laughs> oh my God, that was horrible. 
Here it is. Oh, oh, sick. I love the front brake. So fun. Here's another line on that same little spot. That took ages, <laughs> let's get out of here. Ah! So far, the front brake and gears is holding up and I'm actually really enjoying it. We've come to the classic Colchester skate park. There's a really small mini I never ride on this. So let's see how many variations we can do of the front brake. Here's a normal nose press then. We've done that a minute ago. So fun. Tire tap, nose press. Oh. Oh, I've got one, uh, just frontward to then backwards. I don't even know what that's called, but... Oh, that's well sick. Okay, I'm gonna go up to nose press. Bounce, bounce, in. <laughs> it's well fun. Oh, the ultimate move, actually. This, Oh, I'm gonna go into nose press, put my foot in, and try and come back on the front wheel like one or two pushes. I'd, l I'd love to be able to do that. Oh, that's worked, that'll be cool. Ooh. What's going off there then? No, oh God. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I need to see that. It, it felt insane, but I don't know what it looked like. Reaped. We're coming to the bowl now. I'm gonna do a little line. <laughs> that nose was on the edge of doomage, but that was sick. Stoked on that. It's actually the best to have a front brake. Such an MTB trailer now. <laughs> I'm scared for this one. Uh, usually I do a foot jam three in, but now I'm not gonna use my foot and just endo. Oh my God, that is so, so scary. I'm gonna do it down to flat now. It's quite a nice height off there, I think. Cool, moved my wheel. <laughs> I didn't tighten it up enough. <laughs> Here we go, let's get it clean. God, such a heavy landing. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here, Lubes. We've come to the finale. This is a triple threat. This zone here has a stair set of doom, a danger drop, and a no grab bomby spot. I'm gonna start furthest along. No grab bomby, stairs of doom, into the danger drop. <laughs> that was not meant to happen. No grab bomby. Oh, yes. Now it's time for the stair set of doom. Oh, yeah, I've got gears. I can actually pedal up the hill now. Go on. Oh. Is it an e bike? No, I'm just fit. Stair set of doom. Oh. Okay. Now the danger drop. Oh no, I went too high of a gear. <sighs> danger drop now, to change the angie. <sighs> Ugh, that is so dangerous. You see how big that is? It's horrible. Here we go then. Huge 
huge stoppy to finish off. Wow. That is so horrible. I actually, look at it. Look how high I would have fell if I'd have fell. <laughs> look. That's so scary. It's been an amazing day on this thing. Look at it. So sick. And for those of you that have got this far in the video, pill grips are now back in stock. I've got neon and black. They're in the store right now. If you want them, get involved. And also the biker t-shirt out now as well, which I'm pretty stoked about. Look at that, epic. But on that bombshell, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one.